So I have already prepared um, sort of a little algorithm that includes all of your exams you've taken thus far. I've um, normalized your quizzes to come up with one quiz grade. So all I have to do now is grade and then plug in each of your scores for each of the exams now. And then I'll have the grade that I will put on that grade sheet. Um, I also have recorded for myself how many extra credits you did. The only thing I would ask you today before I finish up that grade sheet is if you plan to turn in a notebook for problems that you've worked at the end of each uh, chapters uh, we've covered in each textbook, let me know that so that I can modify that final grade or the draft final grade accordingly. Okay, we're still missing a couple, but I wanna go ahead and get started. So uh, let me go through the reactive theory exam first. In each exam, I've given you a 100 point exam plus 13 possible points of extra credit. Everything will be due today by 3.30. And again, for each exam, I expect to have the honor statement on it. So going through the reactive theory exam, I have given you an unknown thermal fissioning fuel, and I've given you the information about group, energy at birth, half-life in seconds, and total percent of contribution of neutrons from fission. I've also given you the sum of betas from one to six for the delayed groups is 1.089. I've asked you to calculate the average neutron lifetime, the average delayed neutron lifetime, the average value of energy for all the delayed neutrons, for a stable reactor period of 360 seconds, I want you to calculate reactivity from the full NR equation. Then I want you to calculate rho using figure 10.5 in your book, just like we did on the quiz. I want you to make a quick comparison of the two values. For any one of them, give me reactivity in dollars. I then tell you that our mystery fuel is plutonium-241. I'd like for you to compare at least one advantage and one disadvantage compared to uranium-235. Then I'd like you to write a complete reaction equation for the thermal fissioning of plutonium-241. So we're going to have a thermal neutron strike that one atom, and I want you to write a complete reaction equation that creates two fission fragments, one of which is xenon-135, and it also creates exactly two prompt neutrons. That's the 100-point exam. For extra credit, I want you to tell me about alpha sub t, exactly what it is, why it has to be negative, and I expect that to be a little bit more detailed than what you did on the quiz. And then finally, that's worth four points, and then for nine points, because this is a little bit more difficult, Using the equation for finding xenon developed on page 323 of your text from the old, the rate of change of anything is equal to production minus loss. For the number of atoms of xenon, that should have been 6 times 10 to the 16th. And the number of atoms of iodine, that's also 6 times 10 to the 16th. I want to know how many iodines do we have at the end of 30 hours. You can also, I will also accept if you do the number of xenons at the end of 30 hours. Any questions on that? Okay, on the nuclear material science exam. Can we just get yeah. one clarification on that? The sure. half the half life for half life for group five is 0.9 seconds. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. And the one below it is 0.4 seconds. 
For nuclear material science, I've given you a cantilever beam with one up and one down force. I've given you a cross section, all in centimeters, and it is symmetric. I want you to complete a complete free body diagram. If it's structural steel, which I've told you, I want to know is the system safe? I want you to justify that. And then for point A, which is in one view, two meters from the wall, and the other view, it's on the upper left end of the bottom rectangle. I want to know what is the plane stress and what is the shear stress at that point for extra credit. If we now add a compressive axial force at the end of our cantilever, how would that change? And it looks like the force did not come through on this exam, but that force, action force, Two thousand newtons. For the next half of the exam, I've given you a cube that has plane stresses and shear stresses noted. I want you to sketch the cube as loaded. Construct a more circle and label all important points. And it's primarily the six points that we've done up on the board. I then want you to rotate to show tau min on the plus x face. And when you do that, I want you to show the stresses on both the plus x and the plus y face, just like we've done in the class. Then I want you to rotate the cube to show sigma max on the plus x face. And again, when you rotate the cube, show all the stress values on the plus x and plus y face. And then for extra credit, rotate the cube to show a value of minus 10 for shear stress on the plus X base, and again, show all those values. So this also has 13 points of extra credit. Just to go back to the reactive theory, You can do either the number of iodines or xenons at 30 hours. You can do either one, and again, that's worth nine points. I would guess this whole thing would take you about to do both of these a little over two hours if you've been following things with the quizzes and everything. Any questions on anything? Yes, I have a question. Sure. Just for the shape on for the nuclear material science problem one, that that top part is a ellipse, right? Or is or like a parabolic area? It's a semi ellipse. Okay, thank you. Okay. Two rectangles. And one semi ellipse. And then this is the axial force that will be applied on the end. I'm not sure why those didn't print out, but anyway, they didn't for those for those. Again, any questions on anything? Good luck. I will stay here at my computer here in the classroom for about another five to ten minutes, just in case you have any general questions. If you don't, I will shut down here and then I'll go back to my office and I'll be there for the rest of the afternoon. And as the exams come in, I'll start to grade them and then I'll send them out on that draft grade sheet that I sent you. Good luck on this. Make sure you show me what you're doing because I will give extra credit, excuse me, regular partial credit, depending on what you've done. Okay, good luck. Again, you will get the gray cheese out before I leave tonight, which I'm guessing will probably be around 7, 7.30. Okay. Again, I'll be here for a little bit if you have any questions.